Now to dramatic new video following a boat wreck near Hood River. One of the passengers now presumed dead tonight. That's as rescuers continue to search for that missing boater. And six other passengers were rescued. Eyewitnesses now remembering the terrifying moments before that boat went under. Ariel Yakabazi with more. It was here on the Columbia River and at the mouth of the White Salmon River, which is just a little ways behind me here, where I'm told tragedy struck. A boat capsized, all seven people going overboard. We've been coming down fishing uh, all summer, and it's just a phenomenal spot for salmon. So yesterday, I came out about 11, 11 o'clock with my youngest son to fish, and there was only about four or five boats on the water. It was a typical day of fishing for Sean Sullivan and his young son. Probably within about 20 minutes, uh, you know, we went from calm to uh, trouble. In the blink of an eye, the weather changed from calm to ugly. He says a small commercial boat capsized. I knew there was really nothing I could do except get on the phone and get boats to him as soon as possible. Um, but even being on the phone with 911 with the wind coming at me, it was still hearing them scream for help. He called authorities. The Hood River Sheriff's Office rushing to the banks of the Columbia. You can see in this video sent to us by Sean the dramatic scene before six of the seven boaters were saved from the dangerous swells. Yeah, I take my boys cold plunging in here in the summer and uh, you know there's so many activities that you would just not expect something like that to happen but the weather out here can turn so fast. The sheriff's office says only one person, Michael Schuffeld, could not be found. Authorities say the boat capsized after a large wave hit the stern. They're calling the water conditions at the time of the accident treacherous. Sean says he did everything he could to help the boaters. And now to know that it was tragic to that extent is just, you know, it's heartbreaking. I'm told the search for the missing boater's body is still underway tonight, as well as the recovery efforts for the vessel, which was found about 40 feet from the mouth of the White Salmon River. Reporting in Hood River tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News.